Good morning and welcome to Worksheet Cloud Grade 6 Natural Sciences. If you have a question during the lesson, please send an email with your question to grade 6 at worksheetcloud.com. Good morning, my name is Mrs. Hall and today we are going to do an overview of the sun, the moon and the earth. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you have been doing the sun, the moon and the earth since grade four, but it's always good to recap and consolidate. And just remember, each year you learn a little bit more. So let's get started with planet Earth. So we want to have the following objectives from this lesson. We want to be able to identify a star, a planet and a satellite. We want to understand key terms and words, and we also want to know that the planets and the moons orbit. So let's take a look first of all at the solar system. Okay, so as you know, we live on planet Earth, which is one of the eight planets in our solar system. Our solar system is a collection of eight planets and their moons which orbit the sun along with asteroids, comets, and meteoroids, which we may see as shooting stars. So what is an orbit? An orbit is the path that celestial bodies or satellites follow, like planets and moons, as they revolve around another body. The force of gravity causes this. The object in orbit will always be much smaller than whatever it is orbiting, as it is the larger object that has more gravitational pull. Planet Earth, our home, as you know, is um, Earth, which is a planet. A planet is a body which orbits a star and the closest star to us is the sun, which planet Earth orbits. Earth is the third closest planet to the sun and is the fifth biggest planet in the solar system. As with other planets and stars, the Earth is round. This is caused by gravity pulling on the surface towards the center of the plane. Although the Earth is not 100% round, it's not a perfect sphere. It's actually an oblate spheroid. This just means it's not the same diameter all the way around. In fact, it's a little larger around the equator. The Earth orbits the Sun. How long do you think it takes the Earth to orbit the Sun once? I want you to think about our calendar, <clears throat> right? So we have seasons, as you know. So planet Earth takes 365 days and six hours to orbit the sun once. Have you ever wondered why we have different seasons? This is because of Earth's tilt. At different times of the year, the sun's light is shining on different parts of Earth, making it warmer. Why do you think there is snow at the North and South Pole? Right, let's take a look at this diagram here. We have our sun, okay, and here we have our seasons and the position of the Earth at different times. Okay, so summer in the southern hemisphere, okay, is caused by more direct sunlight shining onto it. Okay, so we have the sun's rays, okay, we have our equator, we have our north pole, we have our south pole, and here we have South Africa, and up there, more towards the north pole, we have the United Kingdom. And this is so lovely, um, because we can compare how our seasons are different too, the UK at the moment. So this shows that while it is winter in the northern hemisphere, 
it is summer in the southern hemisphere as there is more sunlight shining on that hemisphere. The United Kingdom in the northern hemisphere is in winter while South Africa, which is almost directly below, but it's in the southern hemisphere, is in summer because it has more sunlight shining on it. And right now it's starting to change. We are going into winter and the UK is going into summer. So this shows the United Kingdom in summer and South Africa in winter. Now there will be more sunlight shining on the northern hemisphere. So up here, the UK will get far more sunlight and they're going to have a lovely warm summer now. And we down here in the southern hemisphere, South Africa, unfortunately, we're going into our colder season. We're going into winter. So the size of the sun, let's take a look. In the very center of our solar system is the sun, which is about 1.3 million times as big as planet Earth. That's huge. The diameter of the sun is about 880,000 miles, where the Earth is only 7,972 miles. So the diameter is right across. Okay. Look at the difference in the size of the sun versus our earth. So, let's move me up here. The sun, just like all the stars we can see in the night sky, our sun is also a star. The stars that we see at night are just a lot, lot further away. The closest stars are about four light years away. A light year is the distance that light can travel in a year. This is such an unbelievably large different, uh, distance, it's actually quite hard to imagine, grade sixes. A star is a huge ball of burning gas which is held together by gravity. They are a light source as they produce their own light. There's nothing better than lying down on the grass and staring up at our beautiful night sky in South Africa. And it's always good if you go where there isn't a lot of light from the buildings around you. So go further out into the countryside where there's very little light and look up at the night sky. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the sun is at the center of our solar system and is orbited by eight planets, Earth being one of them. Due to the sun's immense size, it has a huge gravitational pull and this force keeps all the planets in our solar system in orbit. Okay. The moon is the name of a body which orbits another body as long as it is not a star. Earth has its own moon, which can be seen on any clear night, just like how the Earth orbits the sun, the moon orbits Earth. Mercury and Venus are the only planets in the solar system which don't have moons at all. Saturn has 62 moons. At night, the moon gives us light, but it isn't a light source like the sun. It actually reflects the light from the sun. Sometimes the earth reflects light onto the moon, and this is called earth shine, and is why we can sometimes see the moon during the daytime. That's something new that I'm sure you didn't know. Looking at the moon from Earth, it looks like it keeps changing shape. Can you think of why this might be? Okay, so you know there's nothing better than a full moon, but we also have different shapes. It's not always a full moon. The best way to show how we see different phases of the moon is by shining a torch on a ball in a dark room. As you move the torch around the ball, you will see different shadows. And remember that the sun, the torch, does not move. It just helps for this little experiment as it shows you 
just the shadows you are looking at. So here we have the moon's orbit. The moon takes 27 days and 8 hours to orbit the Earth. The moon has an elliptical orbit rather than a circular orbit. So if you look over there, it's elliptical rather than circular, which means it orbits the Earth in an egg shape. As a result, the distance from the Earth to the Moon varies from about 225,623 miles to 252,008 miles. Now, I need to ask you, can you remember what is a planet, what is a star, and what is a Moon? I know it was a lot to take in grade sixes, but on the good side, you learn something new and interesting today, and there's going to be a worksheet that will follow this. Grade sixes, you need to remember that, that there's a lot to learn about um, our planet Earth and all the planets that surround it. And I so look forward on taking you on this magnificent adventure on our planets and the solar system. Take care, grade sixes. I know this was quite a short lesson today, um, but bite-sized chunks of information that you can um, consolidate and understand is so much better than giving you a whole lot of new information to remember at once. And for some of you, you might only be learning this for the first time. Okay, so enjoy. In our next lesson, I'm going to do an update of this lesson, so a little bit of revision and a recap, and then um, I will continue with our new knowledge for us to learn. Thank you for watching Grade Sixes. I hope you have a good afternoon and that you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you. And um, remember the golden rules of lockdown be kind to your siblings. And remember, keep smiling. <laughs>